It's 1990, and we just got the first images back from the Hubble telescope. But there's a big problem. The pictures are out of focus. How do you solve that? Well, first of all, you're gonna need one of these. That's the Space Shuttle Endeavour, and it was used in one of the greatest engineering fixes in history. We'll talk all about that on this episode of Crazy Engineering. The Hubble telescope is composed of several different instruments, and outside of those is something called the primary mirror, where all the light bounces off of and goes into the instruments. That's where the flaw was. So the problem was something called a spherical aberration. What exactly does that mean? It means the primary mirror had the wrong shape. That is, it's a shallow bowl, effectively, that brings light to a focus. It's a little too shallow. It rendered the telescope fundamentally unfocusable. So it was a little bit out of tolerance on that primary mirror, and it was affecting all the instruments in the Hubble? All five scientific instruments on the Hubble depend on a sharp image. That's the whole point. So Hubble's sitting in the doctor's chair, and it has the eye chart in front of it, and instead of seeing the letter E, it sees the letter F. Worse, what it sees looks like a squashed spider. But it's way up in space, and you can't get it back here, so how do you fix it? Well, if you're born with eyeballs that don't quite work, uh, you don't go and buy new eyeballs, you buy a pair of glasses, and that's the approach that we took. The wide field and planetary camera, known as WIFPIC, relied on light from the primary mirror. The light from that primary mirror all comes down to a focus inside our camera on a mirror that looks just like this. And this is now an opportunity for us to correct the, the curvature, the shape of the primary mirror right here. We simply put the same error in, reversed, and correct it. The Hubble telescope was designed from the outset to be serviced every three years by astronauts. Andrew, you can take it away. The camera is designed to be replaced in space. That's the one thing that was really just waiting for us to, to take advantage of. Looks like it's in there. Yeah. Mine's beautiful. Okay. So what was the outcome? At the Space Telescope Science Institute, way down in the basement, there were a bunch of us watching. And the first image, which was of a star, looked good. So we knew right away that we had a fix. And that everything that Hubble was supposed to do was now going to happen. So I think I speak for everyone when I just say thanks to you and your team for all the hard work you put in fixing Hubble, because now we have these images really forever that we can appreciate. With Pick 2 went on to become the workhorse for the Hubble telescope, and it lasted for more than 15 years. Well, now you guys can check it out at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., and we'll see all of you on another episode of Crazy Engineering. <laughs>